before you buy Lom Ideal EDP. Now, this is one of my favorites. Okay, <laughs> let's check it out. Let me tell you about it before you blind buy this thing. If you consider it, I'll break it down for you and let you know if it's the right thing for you or not, at least based on my opinion. So first off, what's the scent all about? Lom Ideal EDP is a sweet and spicy oriental fragrance with notes of almond, cherry, leather, and tonka bean. Stick around till the end so I talk a little bit more about how fragrance perfumers actually create the note of leather in itself. It's kind of interesting because there is no real leather note in nature, right? I mean, we know how leather smells, but anyway, that's a bonus at the end of the video. So this fragrance basically has this delicious amaretto vibe going on um, that's warm, inviting, and just a little bit boozy, just the way I like it. If you're into gourmand scents that make you smell good enough to eat, you'll probably dig this one. Now, when you, when, when you consider when to wear this, I think uh, this is definitely something more of a fall and winter fragrance. It's got that cozy snuggle up by the fireplace kind of feel. Um, I wouldn't recommend this necessarily for the office or super hot summer days, traditionally, if you know, uh, but rather save it for date nights, evening outs, um, and maybe just chilling at home when you want to feel extra sexy, okay? So who can pull this off? Honestly, I think that Ideal EDP works for any guy who wants to smell confident and irresistible. Age-wise, I'll put it closer to um, a bit more mature, starting 25 and up. But hey, if you are a younger dude who appreciates the finer things in life, go for it. Just don't overspray it or you might give off major player vibes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Performance-wise... La Mirial EDP is pretty pretty solid. Nothing crazy, but you get about six to eight hours out of this uh, in wear time with moderate projection. It's not a skin scent, but it it's it also won't announce your presence from across the room. Okay, so I think it's perfect for getting noticed in all the right ways. Finally, when we talk about compliments. Guys, if you want the ladies to come flocking to you, this is the juice for you. Okay, La Mirial EDP has this seductive, mysterious quality that drives women wild. Plus, that sweet almond note is comforting and delicious. It's like their favorite dessert in a cologne form. Uh, so you can expect plenty of, you smell amazing, and what are you wearing <laughs> from the females in your life. So... You know, this is it. Uh, the Ideal EDP in a nutshell. I guess personally, I think that it's a great choice for date nights, cozy evenings, um, or anytime you want to channel your inner gentleman. Just remember, a little goes a long way with this one. Two to three sprays max. Don't go overboard. If you're looking for a high quality fragrance that's sweet, sexy, and just a little bit edgy, I think this could be your next signature scent. Let me know in the comments below if you had this one, if you like it, if you don't, and so forth and so forth. Also, if you know any of the uh, potential alternatives for this one, I would love to know as well what you have to say. Now, since there is no real leather that you just squeeze out in oil and then it becomes a leather note, there has to be a work around it, okay? So here's about the leather notes. Uh, earlier, I briefly touched on uh, the, the notes in this one. And um, perfumers don't really use real leather. Instead, they blend various ingredients to mimic the aroma of leather, such as birch tar, um, which is kind of like smoky, like a campfire. Then they have cade oil, which is reminiscent of smoked ham, believe it or not. Um, uh, quinol, quinoline, which is intense and rubbery. I know you smelled this one before in the leathery fragrances. And suederal, which is soft and velvety, just like kind of suede, I guess. You know, These are combined with other notes like vanilla, amber, and woods to achieve a well-balanced leather accord. The result then, hopefully, is a warm, slightly sweet scent with a smoky undertone reminiscent of a new leather jacket or suede boots. 
you know so that's pretty much it on the leather note and how leather is created but now what's fascinating about leather notes is that they're um, you know there's a huge versatility depending on the accompanying ingredients the final fragrance can vary significantly so for example florals and leather uh, could be a feminine type of powdery scent okay spicy and leather could be exotic slash mysterious maybe so this is why you find such a diverse array of leather fragrances on the market because each perfumer puts their unique spin on a classic scent so that's pretty much it about the leather note let me know if you found that interesting in the comments below as well and that's it for today i hope to see you in the next one bye bye